Hey guys, if you want to see how I did these nails, then just keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a tutorial about nails. And as you can see, I don't have on any nails right now. My nails are looking pretty rough. Uh, I'm giving them a little bit of a break from the acrylics that I wear normally. And I wanted to show you guys a quick and easy nail tutorial that can get you through a week, maybe two, depending on how uh, active you are with cleaning, gardening, that kind of thing. Um, but these nails are made by Impress. These are the Press On Manicure Nails. These are really great. They stay on quite well. Um, I've worn them several times in the past. They're really easy to apply and like I said, they last for about a week. I'm pretty active with um, cleaning and gardening, that kind of thing. And then I'm on the computer a lot as well. So that lasts me about a week. Um, then they start, um, you can see wear and tear on them. Um, but for a week, you know, I mean, they're they're inexpensive. I believe I paid $5.97 for these at Walmart. And uh, they come in all different uh, designs and colors. Um, these are the ones that I'm going to be using today because it's springtime. And as you all know, pink is in. So I chose this mauve color. Then they come with accent nails as well. You get six accent nails of different sizes. I normally put my accent nail on my ring finger. So yeah, let's just get started. I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy way to prepare your nail beds. You always want to prepare your nail beds and uh, get them ready for any kind of polish or fingernails that you're going to apply. I'm doing this because I usually wear acrylic nails or gel nails and I do my own. Those take about an hour to complete. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do this today because my nails need a little bit of a rest from the glue. These have like uh, a little adhesive that goes on there. And it comes, let me just pull out what's in this package and show you what all it comes with. Um, basically it has everything you need, only I don't like using their little nail file because it's, you'll see, it's very tiny. It has like a little... Um, let me see, get in the camera view here. It has like a little clear cover that goes over. I usually just set that to the side. Um, and then here are the nails. These are the extras right here. And then you have uh, some that they put in the front to show you through the packaging. And then underneath, I'm going to go ahead and dump all the nails into the clear container that I set to the side. So I have them all right there. Underneath um, you get a prep pad, your instructions, and then you get a um, emery board, like a little push pencil, and then you get a little nail file. This little guy right here is really good. It's really uh, coarse uh, to file down your nail beds to get them prepared. However, I personally prefer the ones that come in the KISS nails, and I have a ton of these, so this one hasn't been opened. And it also comes with a push stick. It's like a, a wooden nail cuticle stick. And I like it better as well because it's a little bit thicker, a little bit longer than the one that comes with the Impress kit. So what you're going to do is you're going to push back your cuticles with the, uh, let's see if you can see that, the end of this is slanted. So you take that slanted end and you just push back your cuticles, cu I can't even talk, cuticles as best as you can. And you just do that on all of your nails. And then you come back with your nail file. This little guy right here and see this little end right here it's perfect for getting up into those round corners of your nail bed and you just want to lightly give it a little um a filing just go over it just very lightly 
Make sure you get into the corners on each side. And you do that with all the nails. And then once you've done that, I like to get my thumbs really good because they're really thick. And when you file them down a little bit, it really helps to adhere that adhesive. If your nails are long, like mine have grown out just a little bit, they're not extremely long, but I like to go in and, and I know I'm using the large clippers. These are normally used for your toenails, but I don't use them on my toenails. I bought these specifically for my fingernails because my nails grow relatively thick and um, the regular fingernail clippers just don't, don't last as long and they don't really clip them as well. So what you're going to want to do is just go in and clip up or clip down, <laughs> clip down the nails until you get them to their desired um, length. Um, I like to keep mine pretty short when I'm putting on these nails because I don't want them to show up underneath. Okay, so once you have your nail beds uh, filed down and clipped, then you want to go in and you want to pick out a nail that is the correct size for your nail bed. These have like a little plastic tab. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's just like a little plastic tab right there. This is going to be the part that's going to go on your finger where that plastic tab is sticking out. When you peel that back, there's um, like a gel adhesive up underneath there. Oops dropped it. So this part that doesn't have the tab, that's going to be the part that's going to actually be the nail that's hanging off. So you're going to find a nail and you're going to match it up with your nail beds and make sure that it fits and it covers both sides. You want to make sure that there aren't any um, any bits of your nail showing on either side. Make sure that the nail fits properly, okay? So, um, like I said, there's a clear plastic tab on this end, and that is the end that will go up against your cuticle area. You're going to then, after you pick out all of your nails that fit, and you, I like to lay mine out, um, like say a thumb and a thumb, uh, and then I do, you know, lay them out on each side where my um, hands are on the right side I'll put the right ones and on the left side I'll put the left ones so this is a thumb for the left because it fits my left thumb so um, once I get all my nails laid out which normally I would do but for the video purposes I don't want this to run very long um, so I'm not going to, I'm only going to do uh, one hand so you guys can see you're going to get some uh, like a cotton swab or uh, I mean a cotton ball or some sort of cotton pad and you're going to take this and you're going to put it in uh, put some fingernail polish remover on it and you can use the non acetone or the acetone kind it really doesn't matter what type or what brand you use all this is for is to get the dust that you filed from your nails off and to clean up the nail bed a little bit and to remove any excess oils that you may have on your nail beds so just remove that um, and then then you're going to take your nail that you already sized to that finger this is for the thumb and you're going to peel back this little um, plastic piece and you're going to carefully take the nail and you're going to place it Let's see if I can get you guys to a good view here let it focus on camera okay and you're going to kind of I like to put mine right underneath the cuticle center it up and then press down with both fingers your thumb and your finger and just press it and work out any air pockets that may be in there and just kind of give it a good press all over and there you go you have your nail so that's the thumb I hate that my camera's not focusing properly. There we go. So now you have the thumb. And then what I like to do normally is come back and just give it a little file. 
you know, file down any rough edges or anything. If there's, um, sometimes these are molded and there's like a little uh, tab on the end that you can kind of see where they uh, took it off the mold. So you could file that down or whatever, but these look pretty good. There's nothing there. So then you move on to the next one. And then there you go in like one minute <laughs> literally you have a full set of nails it looks like maybe that accent nail is a little crooked and that's okay if it is sometimes you can just adjust them push it over and up just to make sure that it's straight it could just be the way that that design is on there but it looks just a little off to me so I'll straighten that out a little bit there we go that's better so there you go. Let's see if the camera will focus. And there you have it. Quick and easy nails for any occasion. And they are not too long. Um, these are medium length. I think that's the only length that they come in. I think it's either um, short and then medium. They do not come in long because these are not a glue on. They are a gel, um, not a gel, but a um, um, press on nail. So you don't really want a long one when you're using these because they can come off. And if you bump them on something, if they're too long, they will come off. They won't last as long. Um, these actually don't have a size on them. I was looking to see if it said medium or uh, short. They do not, but these are like a medium, a standard medium length to me. Maybe even a short to medium length, but I like them. They're really pretty. They're comfortable to wear. It has the patented super hold adhesive on them, so you don't need any glue. Um, it's I, I love it. It's just very very comfortable very easy to apply Literally in three steps, you know, you can have this done you prepare your nail bed You peel the backing and you press them on it's that simple. So there you go These are my five minute nails for under six bucks right around six bucks. I mean it's something quick and easy like if you have an event to go to and you just don't have time to go get your nails done or if um, you just don't feel like you know spending the cash on having them done or if you just want something temporary to kind of give your nails a little break but you still want them to look nice this is a great alternative for that I don't recommend these for everyday use for long wear um, you know if you're going to be wearing something like this all the time I wouldn't recommend these. I would recommend going with the acrylics and glue them down so that you get a much longer wear out of them. These are just something that's quick and easy and uh, doesn't take up a lot of time or money from your pocketbook and they look nice. So there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned because I have some great new videos coming up later in this week. So have a great week. I love you guys. Be good to yourself and each other. <laughs> Bye guys.